This is CBY, Christian Broadcasting of Yakima, your local Christian television station, bringing to our valley quality Christian programming for more than 40 years. Hello and thanks for joining us for Good News in the Valley, your local Christian news magazine. Now first you'll meet and be blessed in song from one of the traveling teams from Heartland Bible Baptist College, Glory Bound. Next we'll learn about Life Choice's upcoming annual fundraiser, as well as who the special guest speakers are. Yes, A Night for Life will be an incredible evening, so set October 1st aside to help support this vital ministry. And finally we'll close with a video. So we are very blessed to have had Glory Bound, a men's quartet from Heartland Bible Baptist College in our studio. Let's now join Pastor Dave Brown as he visits with Cole Carson, a quartet member, followed by song from the entire ensemble. Good morning. We're at CBY Studios and we're here in Yakima, Washington. We're so thankful to have with us today the Heartland Baptist Bible College Quartet. And here with me is Cole Carson. Cole, we're glad to have you so far from Oklahoma City. Yes, sir. Glad to be here. And uh, you're traveling the country. This is your summer tour. Yes, sir. And you're going to camps and you're going to churches and all that type of thing. Yes, sir. A uh, long ways from home. Yes, sir. Quite a bit. We've been traveling here for about eight weeks now and have about four weeks left. So been up in this area around Washington here for a couple weeks now. So. Yeah. Welcome to 115 degrees. Right. It's just, just terrible heat. Right. <laughs> uh, we're thankful that you've been on. You're a, a senior at Heartland Baptist Bible College and you've been there. You were here on another quartet three years ago and we had you here in the studio as well. So <clears throat> what has happened in these last three years? Oh, well, it's been busy. Um, so when I came last time, it was right after my freshman year. And then sophomore year was kind of hectic because the end of that year is when COVID struck. Right. And we got dismissed early. We got sent home around March and did some, some school from home. And that was kind of strange. And then traveled a little bit that summer. And then the following semester and even some of last semester, there was still some restrictions in place that we had to follow, but things are pretty much back to normal, so we're glad to be back to normal schedule and traveling again. So. <laughs> Going through. We have a lot of students from the Northwest that go to Heartland, and it's amazing that they go that far and uh, can find uh, a school in Oklahoma City that is conservative, uh, that is Christ-like, and all the things that Heartland is. Would you just tell me why you came and why you went to Heartland and what it's meant to you in these years? Yes, sir. There was several other options that were there that were closer to my home, but I was familiar with the school growing up, and I knew the testimony of the teachers. I knew that it was founded upon the Bible, that that was the main emphasis, was Bible right. and Bible preaching there at the school. And I knew of the testimony of the school, so it didn't matter that there was others closer. I knew that that's where I needed to go to school. And since going there, it has really become my home and the teaching has been great pep preparation for me going into the ministry later and I've formed several friendships there that will be will last the rest of my life and a lot of friendships and mentors that have come from the teachers and the faculty and staff there and it's meant a lot to me it's been it's been a great experience you know kids going to college they look at what's going on, they're looking at the party life, they're looking at all types of uh, you know, things they can involve themselves in, and uh, that's really their main entrance. Why is it that you would want to go to a conservative school? Heartland is so much more conservative than other schools, and that is an appeal. I know the student uh, body is growing, and I know that you're attracting a lot of kids. Why is that? Right, so obviously, like you said, there's plenty of 
secular colleges and even some that would be considered Christian that would be a more even liberal minded than what we would be and we don't try to appeal to that at all we don't try to appeal by trying to bring them in by secular means we have high standards that are Bible based and holy and righteous living and there's a lot of good teens that are at churches right. world like worldwide that they're looking for that too and I believe that God has blessed that and let them come to Heartland. So, when you go on campus, it's amazing because uh, guys don't have long hair. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you guys dress up and uh, you wear like you do right now. You've got a collar, but you wear a shirt and tie in class. Yes, sir. And uh, the girls are all in dresses, and uh, it's just a different thing. It's a different atmosphere. Yes, sir. And uh, when you go on campus, you're there training for the ministry. Right. Is that the purpose of Heartland? Yes, sir. It is. Uh, the purpose of Heartland is to train pastors and missionaries and full-time Christian workers for the ministry, and that is something that they really hone in on and really key into there. There's no really secular degrees. It's just all ministry-based, and they do an extraordinary job at it. Yeah, you're not interested in liberal arts right. and all the different types of things, yes, but you're available. What do, what do they teach as far as you know pastoral courses, and then you teach other things as well? Right, so like you said, they have, we have the pastoral course, and then I'm a missions major, so I'm taking a lot of missions classes, and I'll be taking my 10th one this semester. Wow. And then they have a music program there, which is top-notch. And then they also have secretarial for the women, which is a two-year program. And then they also have education, which is for men and women, just depending on uh, how they feel uh, called. But. So if you're a missions major, that means that you could actually go to the mission field? Right. Yes, sir. And nobody wants to do that today. Why do you want to do that? Well, um, to be honest, at first I kind of struggled with the calling of ministry in general and then about missions, but uh, God made it clear in my life that that's where he wanted me and that our mission, obviously, as Christians is for souls, and he's really given me a burden for that. So. When you go to the mission field, uh, most groups, they send people over and they come back in a year or two years. And uh, long-term missions is a, a, you know, a, not a sought after thing. Right. And we have missionaries that go and they go on the field and uh, they gain support through the churches. And uh, that's a direction that you're headed though. Yes, sir. You feel God that's, is leading in that. Yes, sir, for sure. All right, that sounds so strange to the world. <laughs> you you met a lot of friends there. And uh, the student body, what is the student body in number? It's a little over 400 currently. All right. Yes, sir. All right. And you're reaching out, you know, through churches this summer. Are you the only group that's on the road? Uh, no, sir. So there's the men's quartet, which is the one that obviously I'm on. And then there's a women's trio. And they're traveling actually up in the Northeast this summer. Oh, okay. And then there is a mixed quartet that is down south this summer so there's three of them and Boy. then there's also a vbs team that travels and does ministry during the summer it's just the to children huh? right yes sir wow that's a it's an amazing thing when you're out cole uh on the road and you're talking to people and so forth what is your reaction when you pull up in that <laughs> van and you're pulling a big trailer and uh, you walk into a restaurant what do people stare <laughs> uh a lot of times yes sir because uh, we come up in this giant van big trailer pull up yeah. go into this restaurant a lot of times uh, the guys um and i like all of us are matching so that usually <laughs> tends to turn heads and people ask so where are you from so it kind of gives us a door to mention heartland and kind of mention about church and stuff so it's, it's it's an opportunity and also it's a bit different yeah. because you know yeah. Yeah. causes some quite the attention well no people are probably going to cause you to or want you to sing right and uh to, to do that and so forth do you get asked a lot of times to sing uh pretty often yes sir <laughs> and uh, a quartet how do you make up your quartet what's in it uh yes sir so every year at the beginning of school uh, there'll be tryouts and then brother aaron mast who is the music department chairman there at the school he selects the group members and so in ours we have tenor, which is what I sing, and then there's lead, uh, baritone, bass, and then we have a pianist and a sound man. All right. And uh, seldom do you hear today a very good voice, and uh, your blend is just tremendous. And you have an acapella song that you're going to sing for us yes, in a little bit. Uh, Aaron Mast was on our staff here, 
and uh, we love Aaron and, and all that takes place with the school. And you see in this year, as we increase in attendance, you see a lot of interest in Heartland. Yes, sir. Coming from all around the world. Right, it's, it's amazing just how many people, because before I went to school, I knew there was quite a few, but I thought it was more so located around Oklahoma and the amount of people that went, but it's amazing. There's people from all over the U.S. and even worldwide that attend school. All right. Yeah, they're equipped. We know that Heartland stands. It's an independent Baptist college, and uh, we're the King James Version Bible, right. yes, and uh, we preach a, a close communion Baptist baptism. It's uh, unusual to have a biblical uh, stand, and that's what is amazing to a lot of people. But it's amazing how many people are being drawn to that truth and drawn from uh, all the things, the school for fun, uh, the, you know, schools for different things and reasons. We don't have to compromise. Uh, you guys have to be in at a certain time at night. Right. And uh, you have to sign out and sign in. Uh, do, what's, that, what's that like? Yes, sir. So as you mentioned, there's a curfew. It's uh, 1030 in the evenings on weekdays. And then on Friday and Saturday night, it's 11. And like you said, we have to sign in and sign out um, where we're going, who we're going with, which some people, especially a lot of people in the world, would, would think that's kind of crazy. But honestly, it's, it's a good standard that the school puts in place that it keeps us accountable and keeps us living the way that we should. Yes. Even if some people may think it's a little odd, but it's a good safeguard that's in place for the students there. Well, I'm glad that they do, and I'm glad yes, that sir. there is accountability. And as a pastor, I'm glad that people are being trained to hold the standard high and not to let your moral standards or anything else go. Cole, it's been a blessing to talk to you. And I'm going to turn it over today and let you hear them actually sing. Thank you so very much. to shining sea I love this land home of the brave and free I love the liberty the justice and the truth in which we stand one nation under God I love this land country, big city, little town. Mom is getting ready, dad pulls the car around. They join the congregation to sing amazing, amazing grace. grace. Jesus. And they are free to pray, I love this land. From sea to shining sea, I love this land, home of the brave and free. I love the liberty, the justice, and the truth in which we stand, one nation under God. I love this land. America, America land, I love, oh, I will stand beside her and defend her with my life for my children for freedom. I love this land from sea to shining sea. I love this land, 
home of the brave and free. I love the liberty, the justice, and the truth in which we stand, one nation under God. I love this land. I love this land. One nation under God. One nation under God. I love this land. I wish I could sing like that. Come join Life Choices for an inspiring evening with special guest speakers Julie and Derek Tennant of the Love Chromosome on Friday, October 1st at the Yakima Convention Center. Here's Life Choices' Jody J. Babcock and Melissa Holmes to provide the specifics of that event. Greetings, I'm Jody J. Babcock, Doctor of Strategic Leadership and Director of Life Choices of Yakima. It is a joy to be here to share about this essential ministry in the Yakima Valley. I'm Melissa Holmes, Executive Assistant and Family Support Services Director. Melissa and I are here to represent the amazing Life Choices team. The paid and volunteer staff, the board members, and the faithful partners, all of whom truly make this pro-abundant life ministry possible. So you may not have heard of the term pro-abundant life before. It's the philosophy that undergirds everything we do at Life Choices. While we do acknowledge the importance of politics and political activism, Life Choices transcends the political realm to serve everyone who comes to us with compassion, hope, and help. We believe all life is sacred from conception to death. Every person is created in the image of God and therefore is priceless, worthy of respect and protection. When it comes to preborn life, every life has a purpose regardless of the circumstances surrounding their conception. Life Choices services reflect our value and love for all life. We love the woman and her baby in the womb. We love the family who is affected by an unexpected pregnancy. Our desire is to provide the support that is needed so that vulnerable women feel it is possible to choose life. Picture this with me as they experience the compassion of Jesus through our actions and words. Their lives are transformed. They walk in abundant life by knowing God's love for them, by getting involved with a faith community and gaining important life and relationship skills. And as a result, their babies will be raised in a safe, stable, and healthy home. The whole family will thrive. That's what it means to be pro-abundant life. My youngest child was born with spina bifida, and I found out about it late in my pregnancy. And through that, I discovered that women who receive an adverse diagnosis for their pregnancy, they need support. And through my own experience, God placed a desire to help pregnant women who face difficult situations of all kinds. And 18 years ago, I got involved with a pregnancy center in the lower Yakima Valley called Life Options. I was trained in the pro-abundant life approach back then and have served with and supported this type of pregnancy center approach ever since. I've been the executive director of Life Choices for seven years, and I believe strongly in servant leadership, and I lead Life Choices to embrace the pro-abundant life ideals in everything we do. When I was a teenager, I found myself in an unplanned pregnancy and in a clinic where I wasn't fully informed of the full extent of the choice I was making. That experience and decision cost me years of pain and regret. Thankfully, I found myself fully surrendering to Jesus and embracing His grace and mercy. Three years ago, I started as the receptionist at Life Choices, shortly after my husband and I had had our first child. 
and life has only been more blessed since. Life Choices services fall under one of three categories, medical, family support, and student education. Under the medical category, we provide pregnancy testing, ultrasound confirmation, pregnancy options counseling, STI testing and treatment for chlamydia and gonorrhea, and the abortion pill reversal. Within the family support services, we offer Earn While You Learn classes with mentors, baby boutique, community referrals, and resources for adoption and post-abortion recovery. Our manager for our Think Twice Healthy Relationships program is here to share about our student education services. Thank you, Jordan, for joining us. Our student education program provides presentations to help students make smart choices aimed at a better future. Go ahead and share a little more about Think Twice, Jordan. Think Twice is a free educational program for students in middle and high school in the Yakima Valley. Our educators go into schools and other youth organizations to teach students how they can build and maintain healthy relationships. Some of our topics include goal setting, knowing yourself, what building a strong foundation looks like, sexual health, communication skills, breakup tips, and so much more. Our program was created with all students in mind making this curriculum inclusive for all. For more information, you can visit our website at www.thinktwiceyakima.com. Think Twice is the pregnancy prevention and healthy life component of our ministry. We want to equip students to avoid risks like unexpected pregnancy and STDs. And since one half of all pregnancies are unexpected, the need for pregnancy support is great. Juanita, not her real name, came into Life Choices visibly pregnant and needing help. She had recently completed treatment in another state and she was leaving a really abusive relationship, but she'd not established care with an OB in town yet. We were able to get her scheduled with an OB, referred her to the YWCA for emergency housing, and we enrolled her into our parenting program. Within three days of that visit, she gave birth to a healthy baby boy. She continues to participate in our parenting classes and loves shopping in our boutique. She told me that if it weren't for our help, which means our generous donors too, she wouldn't have had anything for her baby. In another week, he's about to be a month old and she will be celebrating another month of sobriety. Jillian, not her real name, came to Life Choices with a heavy heart. She had taken a home pregnancy test that was positive, and it felt like her whole world had fallen apart. Now she faced the reality of bringing a baby into this world, and she was terrified. Jillian wanted to know how far along she was. She also wanted to hear about all her pregnancy options because she was contemplating abortion. These types of appointments are always hard. Jillian saw her baby by ultrasound and started crying. She shared her story with her nurse through tears. Her situation was indeed tragic. Our nurse talked compassionately with Jillian, educating her on her options and validating Jillian's strength to make it through. When Jillian left Life Choices that day, she was undecided about what to do. So I enlisted our prayer team right away, trusting God to do more than what is humanly possible. And a few weeks later, Jillian called and asked for an appointment with a nurse who had seen her before. They met together. Jillian talked and cried and talked some more. Our nurse provided comfort and listening ear, along with referrals to agencies to meet Jillian's needs. And at the conclusion of their meeting, Jillian disclosed that because of the services and the care she received at Life Choices, she had decided to continue her pregnancy. She also signed up for our family support services to get prepared for parenthood. What a beautiful answer to prayer. Life Choices continues to walk with Jillian and many others on their parenting journey, helping them to experience the pro-abundant life. Our annual fall fundraiser, A Night for Life, is on Friday, October 1st at the Yakima Convention Center. We are stepping out in faith and having a live in-person event. The doors open at 5 p.m. 
Dinner begins at 6 with a live auction featuring a few select items and our program will follow. Our program will feature inspiring client stories like you just heard, along with our keynote speakers, Julie and Derek Tennant. Also known as the Love Chromosome, this sister-brother duo shares a message that all life has meaning. Julie was born with Down syndrome and Derek had an injury and is paralyzed on his left side. The Love Chromosome brings hope, joy, inspiration, and lots of laughter. You really don't want to miss them live in Yakima. Tickets are $25 each, or you can host a table of 10 for $250. So register online at www.lifechoices.events or call Melissa for more information at 509-248-2273. A Night for Life will be a fabulous evening of fun and celebration. Connect with other pro-abundant life-minded people from Yakima and beyond. Experience the joy of life through our inspirational program. And join the team of partners that make Life Choices Ministry possible to the vulnerable women and men facing pregnancy decisions throughout our communities. We can't wait to see you there. God bless you and be well. Well, that concludes our program. Thank you for watching, and may God bless you, may God help us save America, and may God help America become great again. CBY, Christian Broadcasting of Yakima, your local Christian television station.
bringing to our valley quality Christian programming for more than 40 years.